Grinding 60 degree live centers on the surface grinder is a piece of cake with this 3D printed whirly gig. All the live centers in the shop were in fairly poor condition. I thought about sending them out to be reground, but decided to first try my hand at making a fixture to do it myself. The design is centered around a Morris Taper 3 reduction sleeve. The sleeve will be placed into a 3D printed block and bolted to a 5 inch sign plate. The rotary action will be accomplished using an 8 millimeter shaft, some skate bearings, and a hand crank. A pulley and o-ring will drive the head of the live center. I oriented the block vertically so that the hole would be reasonably round and straight. The handle and the pulley printed quickly. After removing the rather stubborn support material, I reamed the bore to 32 millimeters for a sliding fit of the reduction sleeve. If we zoom in on the entire assembly, you can see that the sign plate sets the angle for the whirly gig. Sign plates or sign bars typically have a standard length of 5 or 10 inches and are used to accurately set up work at an angle for machining or inspection. Sign bars and plates can be manufactured in any length to accommodate work large or small. Gauge blocks are usually used to establish the height. To determine the height of the sign bar setting for a given angle, simply multiply the sign of the angle by the length of the sign bar. In the case of a 60 degree live center, we'll set the sign plate to 30 degrees. So sine of 30 is 0.5 multiplied times 5 would give us two and a half inches. This will give us a 30 degree angle on our sign plate. To better understand the sign plate calculation, let's draw a right triangle on our sign plate diagram. Next, let's label the known angles of our triangle along with the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent sides. Think back to the basic trigonometry ratios used to solve missing sides and angles for right triangles. The mnemonic is SOKOTOA. In this case, we're going to use SO. Sine of the angle equals the opposite over hypotenuse. You can solve for the opposite side or height by simply cross multiplying and reordering the formula so that opposite equals sine of the angle times the hypotenuse. As it turns out, the sine of the angle 30 is 0.5, which is really easy to remember because all you have to do is take half the length of your sine plate. So in the case of a 5 inch sine plate, it's 2.5 inches. Once set up, it only takes a few minutes to rough grind and finish grind or spark out each live center. The finish is fantastic. The accuracy is greatly improved and I couldn't be happier with the results. I'm looking forward to extending the life of all of our live centers that we have in the shop.